Hi guys, my name is Ivo and welcome to the video. In my current video series, I'm talking about solid principles and clean code in a huge code base. Usually when people teach about these uh, topics, they show small demo code or just some very tiny examples because that's the perfect way to teach a beginner. This is why I decided to do something different and show the solid principles and the clean code on a huge real world app. An app which is used in a production environment by thousands of users. I already showed what the app is all about in one of my previous videos, so if you haven't watched them, make sure you check them out. Also, if you're new around here, just subscribe, turn on the bell notifications because I create advanced C sharp lessons and you don't want to miss them. Good. So in my last video, I talked about the service layer and uh, single responsibility because currently we're talking only about the single responsibility principle. In a nutshell, a single responsibility principle's definition means you need to have maximum one reason to change something in the future. So if you have a module, a class, a function, a method, whatever, it should have only a single reason to change. That's the single responsibility principle. I already showed some of the um, problematic violations in the system and that's in the service layer and currently in the current video we are going to see the controllers. So for the controllers uh, we're going to start with the, some controller called administration controller. In terms of, now, in terms of the web project, the controller is the most uh, difficult thing to write in, when you don't know how to separate your code. You sometimes people write a lot of code and a lot of business logic in the controllers and these controllers become huge they become thousands of lines of code and that's um, that's just a disaster you cannot debug it easily you cannot separate the code easily you cannot test it easily it's 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 uh, a very bad practice so make sure your controllers are very small and cohesive in the perfect scenario, in the perfect world, a controller's responsibility should be only get some request data, pass it around to different classes and create a response. So if you want to have a perfect controller, just delegate all the requests to various services and you will be completely fine. Okay, now let's take a look at the controller here. Uh, for the single responsibility principle, I've got a lot of examples because usually it's the most difficult principle and usually people violate it the most. So, the administration controller. First, the first method is export to Excel. It validates some data, sets some page size, it calls some methods. This method is fine. This method doesn't do a lot of stuff. Uh, the second method. So we have another method which has create Excel file by some items and this is kind of huge. Well, it's not okay. But first, don't think that huge methods or huge classes are a violation of the single responsibility principles. They may hint you that you have a violation, but that's not always the case. There are always exceptions. For example, consider a very complex and difficult algorithm which does only one thing. So it follows the single responsibility by the book. But then this is a complex algorithm. It needs 200, 300 lines of code. It's very big, very huge, it's uh, a long method, but it follows the single responsibility principle. So don't think that huge method or classes are violations of this principle. In 90% of the time they are, but don't consider that as a complete 100% hint. So when we take a look at this method here, it just has business logic. It creates Excel files directly, directly in the controller, and that's wrong. The whole code about creating Excel files should be extracted to a separate method. 
to a separate service for example excel sheet service or something along the lines then this excel creation may be separated even further for example we may extract a method for the header row then we may extract a method for uh, each row we may extract a method for the cell and so on and so on so this is a huge violation the controller shouldn't have such code like this this is a uh, business related code it's it's not okay and finally we have another method redirect to contest admin panel which shows a message and redirects this looks fine this looks perfect it's completely okay it uses my library about redirecting it's in the system web mvc expressions uh, nuget package if you're using sp.net mvc make sure you check it out and if you're using uh, sp.net core i have a package for that too just check my github good so good 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 let's move to the next controller the next controller is submissions controller it returns some data about the submissions model we have a method index if user is admin add something to the view back then return a view that's super cohesive just check the request and return a response perfect get submission submissions grid again prepare a response object and return a partial view perfect again perfect we have some authorized rows here okay read submissions read submissions a method which gets all submissions then get some user information validates it once twice three times four times five times and then some JSON serialization. Okay, this is a violation because the read submissions method has multiple responsibilities. First, the responsibility of getting the data. That's okay. Then, a responsibility of validating the user. This should be extracted. This is a separate method. This is a responsibility for validating the user. So, a separate private method will be good enough. And we have some contest validation and json serialization this should be extracted as well because currently the controller is working and is responsible for the json serializer settings that's uh, the controller should only have request response logic not serializer logic so apparently this method has multiple responsibilities and it's not okay and finally we have some start some worker service start some process we have a process here some pro process information and start process with some messages okay this looks fine this looks looks a single responsibility compatible before we take a look at the last controller i would like to mention my mentorship program my mentorship program is available on Patreon. The link is patreon.com slash I've put it down below in the description if you're interested. And uh, why shouldn't be? Why you shouldn't be interested? I post a lot of exclusive content here and I provide a lot of additional information which is perfect for people who want to advance their skills and their career 52 people already joined the mentorship program and we have private communities in which we talk about different technical problems i response to i respond to every single question there i post step-by-step -step guidebooks practical guidebooks tutorials i post additional uh, exclusive videos only for the patreon feed i host live workshops and many more for example uh, here is the last one, which is the anatomy of sp.net core requests, the request response lifecycle. Then we had working with Redis Live Workshop, which is all about what the database is uh, compatible for, how to use it, and so on. 
there are polls which in which people vote for the next lessons there are code challenges some other videos about data structures trees graph clean code material and so on and so on so if you want to advance your career if you want to learn stuff that will be useful for you make sure you consider my mentorship program here and while I'm in the browser, I'm going to show you how to download the source code I'm using in my demo. It's available on bit.ly slash your dash source. So bit.ly your source. A link down below in the description is provided as well. You will receive a link to all the source code I provide in my YouTube channel. So make sure you don't miss it. In the open judge system we're dissecting currently in this video series is available in the huge code base folder. The open judge system is here. Now let's continue to Visual Studio and finish the compete controller. The compete controller, when I open it, I already see that it's quite huge. It's almost 1000 lines of code which may be a hint that there's something wrong in the code. We have a lot of dependencies, but that's... Mm, it may hint you that the class is doing too much, but it may be necessary. Competing in a contest is um, complex in terms of business logic, so it's normal to have a lot of services. So that's not a problem. Let's take a look. First, we have a method called validate submission type. It returns a submission type, a problem, and just checks something against the database and throws exceptions. Okay, th this looks fine. It validates the submission type. The, the method does what it says. It's a single responsibility. Validate contest method. Validate contest. Some contest validation here, some contest validation here, and some contest validation here. Well, this also looks fine because this method does what it says. It has a single responsibility. It validates a contest. Okay, let's move on. The index page. The index page. Get some contest. Validate the contest throw some exception if error. Well, I believe this should be in the validation. This is the responsibility of the validation, but okay. Uh, good, then we have some logic about the participant, what the participant should do, returns a view. Then we have even more logic. Well, this method does multiple things. It has validation, it has participant logic, it has even more participant logic. This should be extracted. This should be private methods in this controller, at least. Good, then register. Register, mm, register a participant for a contest. Get some participant, get some contest, validate it. A lot of things happen in a delegated method, so I believe this is quite fine. We can see that we have a separate method here, we have a separate method here, everything is kind of extracted. So, it looks okay. Maybe this whole thing should be extracted to a separate service. It shouldn't be in the controller because that's business logic here. But let's say that it's kind of okay. It may be improved, but it's not that necessary. It's still single responsibility. Oh, to do refactor. This should be hard. This should have a lot of logic. Okay, get some participant, get some contest, validate it. Validate the contest even more. Validate the contest even more. So, first, responsibility, validation of the contest and the participant. Then, some questions. Uh, some contests have questions which the participants need to, need to field before they can see the tasks. So, 
I guess this is the logic here. And there are some questions, some logic about the questions. Then some logic about the answers. Even more logic about the answers. Then even more logic about the participants. And this has a lot of responsibilities for sure. Validating the contest. Getting the questions. Getting some answers. He has a lot of logic here. So a lot of responsibilities. And some participants things uh, for their answer. So a lot of responsibilities. That's not that's not okay. This method is huge. It has a lot of things going on in it. Submitting submission. So get a problem. Get a participant. Okay. Validate the contest. Delegate data. Okay. Validate problem for participant. Okay. So so far delegation. Some check. This should be extracted, I guess, maybe. To a separate method, this logic here. These validations should be extracted, but these are tiny details. So far we have validation for one responsibility, validate submission type. Then even more validations. These should be extracted for sure. Then creating a submission and saving it in the database. Uh, well, two two responsibilities. One for the submissions and one for all the validation. And a better approach would be to have two extracted methods. One for the creating of the submissions and one of the validating of, of the data. This, sh this should be uh, the improve we can do in terms of a single responsibility. Here we have another to do extract common logic between some methods. Okay, so we have validation, 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 again validation, even more validation, and then even more validation, and then creating of submissions. Well, the same thing as the previous method. A lot of validations and creating of the submission. These are two responsibilities. They should be extracted. You can see how when we don't extract controller code, it, the controller code becomes super huge. This is a lot of code. 100 lines of code for a single method. It's too much. It can be improved. It can be improved in, a, a, for example, 20 lines of code. It's not that clean and single responsibility is violated. Get some problem. View back. Get the problem. Validate the problem. Validate contests. Validate some stuff. Validate some stuff. Well, again, the validation should be extracted. Read submission results. Get some problem. Validation user submissions. We can extract the validation too. I guess you already understand what I'm looking for in every example. I'm looking for different kinds of logic grouped together which can be extracted. That's the whole point. Read submission results, problem participant. This looks kind of okay. Everything is extracted to separate methods. Looks okay. This is okay. One query, return the results. Download resource. One query, validation. Some logic, even more logic. Even more logic. A lot of logic. Well, this I'm not going to count how many responsibilities this method has. A lot of extracting can be done here too. Remove if not used. Get submission content. Not sure whether this is used, but get submission and return a response. <sighs> kind of okay. Again, a lot of va some validation, but I believe this should be extracted too. New contest type P. 
logic, logic, these are separate methods, okay, again separate methods, this looks fine. The on, what this method does is just delegating data to other methods, which is completely fine in terms of controller logic. I'll, it's okay. New contest IP, some data validation, which is in separate methods, some queries. This query can be extracted. Some logic, even more logic. These two things can be extracted. This is fine, this is a single query. And the other methods look fine. Okay, so this this controller I don't like it. The, the whole controller looks looks like it's using super legacy code compared to the other controllers, especially this one. This is quite it's better done. It's done better, and typically we will we will have a lot a lot less code in our controller classes. That's not okay at all. It's huge, it has a lot of responsibilities, each method has a lot of responsibilities, and it's not okay. When we finish with all the solid principles, I'm going to show even more example in terms of clean code. So currently I'm looking for solid violations, and then I'm going to show you how we can uh, improve some code, we can improve uh, some services, some methods, and everything related to the clean code best practices. Good. And before we finish, I would like to mention my sponsors. If you like the video, first, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button and um, share it with some friends. So my sponsors are first Endeavor. Endeavor is uh, very cool company which is constantly searching for passionate developers if you are looking for your first programming job or if you are looking for a new job make sure you check their website out they are using latest tech they are using cloud platforms you may like them the second company is 2k 2k is very major company they have great culture when I negotiated the sponsorship with one of the managers here in the local office in my town, I was super impressed with their uh, all about the employees attitude. They really want to make sure that the, the people there are super happy. So if you care about the company's culture, if you want to work for a big company, consider Tsuki. Finally, if you are in Bulgaria, you may consider Smart IT. Smart IT are a fintech company using .NET Core and uh, latest technologies. They are also a good choice for everyone who wants to advance their career. Make sure you check them out if you live in Bulgaria. That was it guys, I hope you liked the first part of my video series, the part about single responsibilities because it's a tough topic and a lot of people don't understand it quite well. They understand the definition of the principle, but they don't understand the different uh, violations you can do in your code. So that, that was it. And in the next video, I'm going to show you open close principle in the same system. Bye for now.